So now let's look at graphing velocity versus time. So we're going to start with just velocity in one dimension. And so that's going to be the velocity along a line. Could be a horizontal line, could be a vertical line. But in either case, we're talking about how fast and in which direction am I traveling. And that velocity is always a function of time. So our time is the independent variable and velocity is the dependent variable. Because of this, time is always going to be plotted along our horizontal axis and velocity is always going to go along the vertical axis. Now if I have data points, I can create a graph. Or if I've got a graph, I can extract data from that graph. For example, on this graph, if I wanted to know the velocity at 4 seconds, I can see that that is 2 meters per second, and it's a positive 2 meters per second. Or at 9 seconds, I've got a minus 2 meters per second. So that kind of leads us into this plus and minus aspect. Anytime that we have a positive number on the graph above 0, that means we've got a positive velocity, or I'm moving forward along whatever line I've defined. Our negative velocities means I'm moving backwards along that same line. And of course, in between, we've got zero velocity, which means I'm not moving. On this particular graph, that only happens at this time of six seconds. Remember that your graphs do not have to be very nice and neat little segments like the one we have drawn before. Any type of motion, you can have your velocity changing over time and we can either read our data off the graph or interpret what that means about the motion. We're going to learn a lot more about interpreting the motion later. So for now, that's just a brief introduction to graphing velocity versus time. Check out our other videos to understand how to interpret these graphs.